love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support that you give me each and every day, dropping those lines. You know, being able to participate and you know, give me your feed about back about the things that you also go through and resonate with the things that I vlog about. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell down there at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you also are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance uh, for you to get to know me as much as I'm getting to know you. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just stop telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and sent you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes and just felt, you know, like you really want to share it with such and such, please go ahead and do so and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share your social media favorites. Sorry, y'all. It's, it's that um, the meditation, it, it got kind of stuck for me. And I was like, I hear that pulsating, but this is actually a good meditation. Um, if it, I hope it's not um, messing with nobody's ears because I am turning down just a little bit. You can just hear it just faintly in the background because it has it does have a high pitched noise. And it's called Recharge Brain Battery Activation Frequency 5000 Hertz, 8000 Hertz spiritual awakening meditation music and it's just this is a special i didn't see the whole title doing about to do my whole content on my title of the content i'm about to do and it's called um impasse uh when spiritual awakening um triggers depression i've had so many people talking about rise when i've been going through um ascension awakenings i've been going through spiritual awakenings because you you will get them in waves i tell y'all you know, sometimes in my videos and, you know, we have a new family that's coming in, you know, getting ready. You know, you're filling me out. But it's just like when you're going through awakenings, it's not going to be just one or two. It's, it's like phases your life. We can't. It's like we're peeling back like an onion. We have to go by layers and layers and layers and just go ahead and just, um, you know, we have to heal one by one. It's like we'll probably lose our daggone mind. You know, if everything came at us, at us all at once. I mean, it's just like with me, with my situation. I had it with family. I had it with ex. And then I had it with grief. And then I found out the truth about my adoption. You know, I had to deal with everything all at one time. And it was just like so crazy and distracting to me. And it was just like, you know what? It triggered off a lot of depression. So if you're wondering, you know, why are you so depressed while you're doing your, your spiritual awakening? Because it's bringing up a lot of things we have suppressed for so long. Things that we, we really just don't want to even deal with. It's just like if somebody starts talking about it, you want to change the subject. It's the one of those type situations. So it's just like we have, we, we have, we have to be like the onions. We peel by a layer and we heal. One by one. You can't get mad at yourself because you're not over stuff. You know, if you really went through some really, you know, horrendous traumatic things, you know, stuff like that's going to happen. You know, you're going to, um, you know, you're going to deal with stuff. You're going to have your mood swings where you're angry, you're confused, you know, you're facing, you're facing things, you're shedding faucets that you, that doesn't serve you anymore. So be patient with yourself and work, you know, work on that. Because it's like when you're out there, you're pushing love and light to people, you know, that takes a lot out of you. And I mean, that is blessings coming towards your way. And it's just the more nice things that you do and the more things you do nice for yourself. Because that's what our problem is, is being empaths. We can be out there and we're out, out there loving on narcissistics. We're out there not loving on toxic toxic people or you know loving towards other people and not end up neglecting ourselves so we have to be able to do you know we have to be able to work on ourselves because it's like when i'm working on myself i'm letting y'all know i'm gonna turn this down y'all because that high pitch has got my frequency going but it's just like I'm, i hope this is not triggering off anybody's you know like it's irritating irritating somebody's ears because with me right now going through ascension phases right now everything is like sensitive to me lights and stuff it's just like you know sometimes i can come into a room and the room you know the lights will start flickering and stuff so i'm just like Ugh. but anyways you know just work on yourself pamper yourself a little bit you know um if you feel like you're gonna be like 
you know, agitated, try not to be, you know, confrontating or even talk to anybody too much if you need to. Because, I mean, there's times that I've been with folks and they're like, Rosalind, we ain't heard from you in a minute. I just stop talking to people. Because if I know if I'm not too chatty, you might rub me the wrong way, you might catch it. <laughs> you might really, really, really catch it. So it's just work on yourself. Do what you need to do. And it's going to be okay, you know, knowing that you're going to get through this. But it's just a lot of things that you have to deal with and heal with that triggers you when it when it comes to certain thoughts or it comes to certain things or, you know, some certain sayings or whatever. But just work on you. Things will get better. And, you know, and, you know, hopefully soon these spiritual awakenings will be over with. But like I said, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on the social media favorites. Even, you know, give me a thumbs up. You know, I said give me a thumbs up. Drop me a line. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the impact that, you know, gift that you got. Or even if it's about the content of the video. Or even if you want to share. So, you know, know that you are blessed, truly loved, highly favored, and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And my shout out today is, who am I going to do today? Who am I going to do today? Starseed Warrior 22, what's up fam? Much love to you. I hope you stay blessed and stay prosperous. And I will see y'all later. I hope y'all had a good week. It's hump day. It's hump day. So, you know, when y'all get up in the morning, y'all get y'all little hump day on and say, you know what, no matter what kind of hell they're trying to raise today, it's going to be a good day. And I'll see you later. Peace. <laughs> be wild.